To set up and use Focus on a Mac running macOS 12, Monterey, and newer, navigate to the top right of your desktop and select the Control Center icon. In the window that appears, select Focus. Here you will see some basic default settings that can quickly be turned on or off. Clicking Do Not Disturb will block all notifications until you turn it off. You can also set it for one hour or until evening, which will default to 7 p.m. To customize or add a new focus, click on Focus Preferences at the bottom. In the new window, you will see a list of your custom focus scenarios in the left column. If this is the first time you are looking at these, then you will likely only see Do Not Disturb. Note that you can also access this preference window by opening System Preferences and selecting the Notifications and Focus icon. So, to create a new focus, navigate to the bottom left corner of the column and click the plus symbol. In the menu that appears, you can choose a pre-named focus or click on Custom to create and name your own. If you click on Custom, a window will appear with a text box at the top. Go ahead and name the focus, select a color for your icon, and then select a relevant icon for reference. Next, click Add in the lower right and you will see a new focus in the left column. Now would be a good time to note that you can delete a focus by clicking on the minus symbol in the lower left of the column while a focus is highlighted. So next we get to customize the focus in the right column. First, we'll decide if we want any exclusions from the focus. This will permit certain people or applications to give you notifications while the focus is on. Click on the Options button in the upper right of the window and you will see a few basic options such as allowing calls from your favorites list as well as something I always leave checked which will not silence a second call from the same person within three minutes. This is helpful for urgent or emergency situations. After you decide which boxes to check or uncheck, click OK in the lower right and your preferences will be saved. Now you can select specific people or applications to be able to notify you in the upper right column. You will see two tabs at the top for people and apps. In my case, I don't want any applications like Slack or other communication apps to give me notifications, so I'm just going to leave the People's tab selected and click the plus symbol in the lower left. The new window will show you your contacts from the Contacts application. If you don't see any, then you might not have them synced with iCloud, or you may not be signed into iCloud on your Mac, which can easily be done in System Preferences. Then, select the people who you would like to receive notifications from. You can select multiple people by holding Command on your keyboard and clicking on each person. With the people selected, click Add in the lower right and you will see those people added to your list. Moving on, you can automate when focus is turned on. If you would prefer to manually turn it on and off, then you can skip this section, but I would encourage you to watch just in case you want to automate in the future. To add an automation, click the plus symbol in the lower section of the right column and select the type of automation you would like to add from the menu that appears. I'll go through each one even though I don't need all of them for my specific focus. If you click on time-based automation, a window will appear where you can specify days by checking or unchecking the boxes to the left of each day, as well as customize the hours of those days. Keep in mind that if you want different hours on different days, you can always create a new time automation for each day. Once you're done, click Add in the lower right and your time automation will be saved to your list, detailing the parameters for easy reference. Next, you can click the plus symbol again and select location-based automation. In the search field, you can search for an address, city, or region. Once your desired location shows up in the list, select it, and then click Add in the lower right. As you probably guessed, this will automatically turn your focus on and off based on your current location. Finally, click on the plus symbol once again and select App-based automation. This is exactly what I need for this particular focus. The window that appears will have a list of your applications in your Mac's Applications folder. Scroll through the list and select the application you would like. Then click the Add button in the lower right and that application will be added to your list. Notice that each of these automations can be toggled on and off without having to delete them using the checkboxes to the left. But since I work on videos at random times and in multiple locations, I'm going to delete the first two automations using the minus symbol since I only need the focus on while I'm working in Final Cut Pro. A side note, focus will by default be shared across all of your Apple devices running a compatible OS and signed in with your Apple ID. So if you turn on the focus on your Mac, it will also apply to your phone, watch, etc. My option to check the box is only grayed out because this is a demo and I haven't signed into my Apple ID in this user account. Usually you would see the box checked by default in the lower left of the window and be able to uncheck it if desired. 
Lastly, to turn on the new focus, make sure it's selected in the left column and toggle the switch to the right in the top center of the Preferences window. While the focus is on, you will see the icon you chose for the focus in the menu bar, and clicking on it will allow you to turn off or switch focuses. You will also see it in the Focus section of Control Center, and it can be easily toggled on and off there as well. If you found this video helpful, please consider subscribing to my channel, and please leave a comment if you have any questions or ideas. Thanks!